and now you're under my control. Red Bar. Hi. Sorry it's so late. I was out fucking H. Pearl Davis. What do you think of that, Jules? I'm fine with it. Mm -hmm. We also have Jules in the house. What's up? What's up? Jules in the house. Um, This is going to be a very difficult podcast to do. I'm happier than ever. Wish I could explain it better. Wearing a hat today, huh? The summer heat. That means it's a relaxed kind of day. Well, I really, I wasn't having sex with H. Pearl Davis. <laughs> I wish. Uh, it's actually the heat's been wearing down the town. You hear about this on the Tucson Reddit? Do you guys hear about this? You go to, if you follow the Tucson Reddit? The heat is wearing down the town. They're going nuts. They're blaming the heat on, like, losing their jobs, blaming the heat on hitting their wives. Reddit people really like to bend the truth. You ever read a Reddit thread and they all start kind of exaggerating? And they all know that they're lying, but they love it. They like to write a little story. They like to write a little story on Reddit there. Oh, the heat. Once, oh, man, my nerves are shot. The heat. <laughs> this summer is different. I've lived here. That's what they're saying. And then you wonder, what do they what do they really look like? What does a Redditor really look like? You don't really know. I'd Ooh, like to wow. see what they look like. I know. I want to organize, like, a local Reddit meetup. What does a Tucson Redditor look like? Hey, the heat's bothering them. The heat's bothering me. I'm going psycho. <laughs> me too. It's like 114 every day, sometimes 120. So we waited today till the sun went down. Almost. Much cooler. Much nicer, huh? It's pretty good. It's Friday. We're making money the Klein way. Uh, yeah, we're making a lot of money today. Thanks for joining the Scars <laughs> Club here today. We're trying to triple those memberships. Redbarradio.net slash Scars. The Clippers have been uh, posting basically everything we ever do online now on YouTube. So we're a YouTube show now. We're basically Hassan Anabi. So the Clippers, please slow down. You're pulling money out of my pockets here this week. We could barely pay the rent this week. <laughs> Seriously, we got yelled at by the landlord for not paying the rent. Yeah. She came by here. She said, Mm-mm-mm. we're going to get <laughs> a lot of trouble, a lot of trouble. We got a big, amazing day of lies. Crowder uh, was exposed, <gasps> by the way. There yeah, was more. quickly read the Crowder article yeah. and then Schultz. We have to. I mean, this is so good. This is what... You know, I've worked for a, a many, many years to have this happen to Crowder. Do you understand? This is a big thing. And where am I during? Am I celebrating? Am I enjoying it at all? No. I'm letting it pass me by as if I'm not even interested. You're right. My whole life. No, I'm not saying that. I'm saying I don't even really care anymore. Um, it's it's almost like it's like what happened with the Kanye stuff. It gets like too crazy. And so extreme that it almost just doesn't even have a feeling to it anymore. And that's what's happening with Crowder every time you look. Here, now he's in trouble. Look at this. For exposing himself and asking and soliciting drugs. Did you ever think you'd ever see anything like this? Exclusive. Steven Crowder sent photos of his genitals and exchanged drugs in super creepy workplace say his ex staffers what should i read here let me see there was a part that was pretty good it was um do we have it go to one after that yeah. first and yeah one former louder with crowder employee you one former part. louder with crowder employee told mediate <laughs> that during his time on the show he received unsolicited Sexual graphic text that included photos of Crowder's genitalia. The dick. 
those toxic images were reviewed by media. Is that it? Mediate? Yeah. Mediate, the network that we all know and love. <laughs> yes, we love them. In the moment, we dismissed it as short of frat boy humor. In Mediaite? Heights, Mediaite. There you go. Mediaite. Pretty cool. <laughs> it's another word for moron. <laughs> Fucking Mediaite. <laughs> In the moment, we dismissed it as sort of frat boy humor. But in hindsight, it's super creepy and felt groomer-ish, the employee said. <gasps> it always felt like childish behavior in the moment that felt predatory in hindsight, he explained. Like he was always testing people's comfort levels with, what kind of, with that kind of behavior. Because he was the boss and, though he had, and thought he had no accountability, it just continued to happen. There was no one trusted to complain to or what should i read next so then there's a ton of stuff about how he's always flashing people and showing his dick i mean yeah. you can read on it's all crazy but if you want the drug stuff yeah where was that keep part? scrolling so down. he's sending his dick pics he's doing childish behavior which is always a big no-no for me see that that's he's experiencing the... he's uh yeah he's doing childish behavior that won't stand here at Red Bar. You guys know that. Um, okay, so there's a case to be made that he has been grooming employees. What's this about? What's the grooming about? Um, I don't really know. They just kind of throw Grooming is out. just whenever you're being sexual Basically, around Basically, it seems like there's about 15 Crowder employees yeah. who are out here in the media saying that he shows his dick. He sends pics of the dick. He's doing dick-related pranks genitalia stuff you know yeah so this media outlet though is saying they have the pictures they're saying they confirmed them they, they confirmed them. them they saw yeah. the pics that crowder sent so we have footage of his dick out there somewhere they should release that the penis media i want to see his butt too do they have any full photos of his bare butt probably what about his balls Wait, hold on maybe while you read this article one sec one sec one sec yeah We're holding on for something here. It's about Stephen H. Crowder. Okay, just have this on in the background okay. on this freeze frame. Okay. That Let's I just see. sent you. Got a free freeze frame coming up. Okay, and it should cut to a certain so now right we have here. right here. Or you could or back it up. I want the most beautiful image of his butt. Okay, that's a good one. <laughs> Let's see if I can get in on that. Are we going to get rid of this? Oh, my God. Well, I'm not going to be able to do the article with this here, but... You can't have both? No. Look at not that Not in thing. a zoom-in way. No, not in a nice zoom-in way. Look at that thing, though. Do you I mean, see what he's got back there? I've and this is him at a gun... Oh, wait, see, I'm blocking it. It's tough to see. Fuck. There it is. I mean, that's a pretty big <laughs> ramp. I mean, that looks like one of those Khloe Kardashian pics where they're, like, showing her before and after the yeah. surgery, and they're looking for, like, the most ridiculous yeah. after pic. He's got a huge, huge ass. Okay, so what's the part about the drug? Let's read that, and let's... Okay, uh, the drug part, you're almost there. Yeah, where? Yet, Crowner's pension for ambitionism. Okay, multiple staffers. Start with that. Multiple former staffers and a source close to Crowder claim the conservative firebrand... What, what's a firebrand? Huh? Like a guy who's out there causing trouble? I don't like that at all. Who's this writer? Can we trust them anymore? I don't think firebrand. so. Firebrand? Pretty gay word. Uh, multiple former staffers in a source close to Crowder claim the conservative firebrand would offer and ask staffers for prescription drugs like clonopin. Um, and... Cannabis gummies and opiates like Percocet. Um, we reviewed text exchanges between Crowder and former employees confirming these claims. Drug use. So they don't consider Adderall to be something. I mean, I don't understand how people aren't putting together. This is what happens when you're an Adderall junkie. Remember what I said? It's going to build and build and build. It's going to lead up to a psychosis. And here it is. We're seeing it now. I know. I was quick. And this guy was so anti-weed, too. Remember when he was on Rogan? I was looking so much for more Adderall clues in this article. They don't care about think. Adderall because they're on Adderall. I didn't even think of the thing with Rogan about the weed. Like, mm -hmm. this is crazy.
Yeah, remember, he was the big anti-weed guy. That's what got Rogan so teary-eyed with him. That's why him and Rogan are enemies. But he's been secretly asking, so he won't go buy them. He asks his uh, employees to get it for him. Cannabis gummies. Because he can't be on record breaking his big anti-pot stance. You know, his good little Christian stance. Opiates, Percocet. She was doing all sorts of drugs. Stephen was known for passing out prescription drugs fairly freely. Look at that. Yeah, we heard that Dave was like, I got to be there at six. He's working me like a horse. Work, work, work. There's no way he's giving them Percocets. He's giving those people Adderall. Yeah. Oh, <laughs> definitely. Most employees there are overworked and underpaid. Nothing is ever good enough. Office morale is extremely low. And many employees have stated that they want to give up and quit. That's unreal. Isn't that unreal how that worked out for us? And That's just unreal. And everyone was posting last week about how he has like every position. Ad yes. Ad oh, my God. There was they found a help wanted ad. He's looking for 20 people. He's got 20 different help wanted ads up. Every position in the book. And it's amazing how many people he needs to put on that piece of shit show where he just rambles. There was like 50. The show doesn't even make any sense. What do you need people for? <laughs> the music video. I don't understand. I mean, I can't believe it. No, yeah, he was telling the truth about blowing through that 50 million by the amount of staff he has on just one show. That's crazy that somebody would have that much. But yes, he is looking for every position. Here's what we could offer you. Uh, if you want to go undercover, apply for one of these jobs, get hired, feed us all the intel. We'll pay for your lunches throughout the whole course of working for it. Lunch on us if you want to sneak in undercover. Work for crowd. He's looking for 20 people. No, but you can't get any employees. They're all quitting. So there's that. Very cool. Uh, Joey Swole is in the news. Pearl is in the news. Let's see. What about Roseanne? Oh, this is big. This is big. This is big. I, 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 I'm so glad I didn't forget about this one. You're not going to believe this. So, I got followed. I mean, I don't even know how to say this. Let's just say this. Josh Denny is going to be super jealous of this follow. Wait till you hear who just started following me on Instagram. You ready for this? I'm about to show you. Richard Pryor started following you. Yep. This is real on Instagram. He's got the check. The official account for his estate. His family or whoever's running this follows me. He follows no other comics. Richard Pryor. So legends, the legends you hear, I ha hated Richard Pryor. But uh, you know how every comedian's like, oh, Richard Pryor, Richard Pryor, right? Is that what I'm supposed to say? They love, I've never seen a second of Richard Pryor except for some shitty movie that I didn't watch. Me he <laughs> follows me and he believes in me and he knows that. He's a fan. What can we say? I mean, that's huge. The people who like Red Bar, I mean, it, really, it's telling. Isn't it telling? The good people that. That Great. like us. So this is very real. It's not a joke. Look into it yourself. Richard Pryor. Not a fake account. Not a fan account. It is him. Yes. So thank you. And I'm honored, Richard. And who knows? Maybe uh, his whole family is listening right now. You know? I imagine them to be very similar to they probably really like Eddie them. Murphy's family. Right? Bunch mm -hmm. of black people all sitting around hollering at the screen, dying, laughing at me all day. So very, very cool. And thank you. Thank you again. Now let's see if I've got any other little ones here today. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let me show you this from the new Roseanne show, oh which God. is out of control. We listened to the Roseanne podcast this morning. She's going to get herself killed. Joe Rogan has fooled this woman into thinking what she's doing is perfectly okay. She's all over the board, dude. And I just found out her son, her adult son, who co-hosts this show with her, I think it's him that's messing with her mind. Wait till you see this. Roseanne slams Whitney C. Cummings. Come on down.
from the new Roseanne podcast that was motivated. Probably uh, the only reason you're seeing this is because of Joe Rogan. He has taken her in, you know. Um, and they're like backing Roseanne, you know, like uh, Tony. I mean, she hangs in their crew with like David Lucas, William Montgomery, Tony Hinchcliffe, Joe Rogan, Roseanne. She's roommates with Hans Kim. Yeah, I mean, it's it's pretty much that close. She's there every day. You just saw Roseanne. Uh, this was a great moment for me. Her uh, YouTube appearance on Theo Vaughn's podcast was yanked. YouTube, they took it down due to censorship. Let's keep that up. I got a big kick out of Roseanne getting... However, I'm a huge fan of Roseanne. You know, I've seen every episode. I used to tell people that I was Michael Fishman, uh, which led me to develop a strong hatred towards Michael Fishman, who played Deej, the son on Roseanne. Turns out her and Michael Fishman are full-on enemies now after he kicked her to the curb with the Connors bullshit that was produced by Whitney C. Cummings herself. So my favorite show growing up, Roseanne, I saw every episode. I know about loose meat sandwiches. I know about Lanford, Illinois. I know about David. I know everything Deej has ever done. I told people I was Deej at bars, and they kind of said, I could see it. And I said, I'm not fucking Deej. It's disgusting. <laughs> Have you seen Michael Fishman? He's hideously ugly. Then Roseanne gets picked up for a, a, a reboot. Whitney Cummings is the showrunner for this reboot. It's created by Whitney Cummings. Can you believe that? Roseanne. And the Connors are all back. The set's back. The house is back. And now they have fake dinge marks everywhere. Just They just took a pen and drew some checks <laughs> to show that the house was dirty. You zoom in like on some molding and it's just tic-tac-toe board to show dirt. That was insane. Uh, but the show is back, and then, of course, Roseanne got canceled for not knowing some bitch was black. Uh, Planet of the Apes, of course, and she said all this crazy stuff. She was really more so canceled because she's just nuts. It has nothing to do with what she's saying or what she thinks she understands and is latched on to. Or... It has nothing to do with that. I know that's a big fantasy some people have, like Andrew Tate. He's being silenced. Because he's too cool. Roseanne is being silenced by the mainstream. It's just that this is a wacko woman. They can't possibly work with her. I'm always on the network side for things like the writer's <laughs> strike, the SAG actors, Screen Guild, whatever that shit is. I'm always on the side of the giant conglomerate in this against actors, 100%. And I root for the big studios and I root for Monopoly. I root for them buying everything up and turning it into shit. That's all you deserve. <laughs> so I don't want these people to live out the you know their dream life. I want them in hell. And Roseanne was fired, not because she knows too much, but because she's a stupid idiot and acting a fool and too crazy, okay? She's two seconds away from taking off all her clothes and shoving donuts up her ass at the drugstore. My God. That being said, I'm a fan of Roseanne, too. I'm not hating. But let's be honest. Roseanne is a crazy person. But she's really funny and awesome. You know, I don't know why people can't ever be like that. So they got to lie. And now Joe Rogan and all his friends pretend Roseanne is just speaking the truth and trying to shut her up. Okay. <laughs> yeah, that's it. That's all it is to it. So we caught Roseanne and her son. Now, should we... this? I just saw this, this tiny is her son, clip, by the way. but then on the way to work today, we watched the beginning of it, and this podcast is crazy. What's that? I just, the son, I'm suddenly... Oh, yeah, the son is insane. Son. Wait till you meet Roseanne's should son, we... who is causing damn. I mean, he should be arrested for elderly abuse. I know. Really? He's, he's making Roseanne, they're going to kill her. He's the one who's putting all these ideas in her. He head. is a QAnon shaman. He's insane. He's insane. And... He's feeding Roseanne all this misinformation, which she believes to be true. You know, she's 78 years old. She's senile. She's crazy. She's running around town, scared out of her mind, believing all of this. <laughs> Roseanne is not full of shit. She believes all this stuff is happening. She's actually a victim. And her son is feeding her all this QAnon stuff. And she's going, can you believe what they're doing when they try to? And she's fully, how scary would that be? 
if you really believed all these conspiracies to be true, this world would be very fucking scary. She's actually being pretty chill about She's being it. actually pretty chill for knowing all this is real. <laughs> um, and Joe Rogan is encouraging this. He's not understanding. It's like you're playing. With, this is like encouraging FouseyTube when he's on a manic upswing to go to the airport and live stream. Okay. This is irresponsible to do to somebody with a mental health condition like this. And Joe and Tony do it in this way where it's like, are you guys even thinking anymore? Are you so swept away with this momentum where you're never stopping? And you think it's like a video game. You're going to ruin Roseanne's life by, uh, you know, encouraging her to say and do these crazy things. I mean, really, she is going to start squirting ketchup all over her naked body at a diner <laughs> very shortly. They're going to be shoving straws up her pussy. Bunch of black guys. Uh, Cameron Harris's friend. 43 minutes. This was sent to us uh, the other day. And thank you to the person who sent this to us. You know who you are. I don't. <laughs> and But thank you so much because we watched this and you opened our eyes to a whole world we didn't know was happening with this elder abuse with the son. 43 minutes. They're talking about Whitney Cummings. They're talking about Dan which is John Goodman. His name isn't Dan. They call him Dan. And like what Dan did to us when he pretty much didn't stick up for me when I got bearded from ABC. It's John Goodman, not Dan. She's calling him. She doesn't know anymore. By the way, John Goodman is doing great. He's on the gemstones. John, can you go help her? Pretty mean. How could him. John Goodman just leave? Oh, my God. Christina P., everybody. Damn. Christina P. This is how you're going to let Roseanne fizzle out. You know, this is such bullshit. To cancel her show and continue it with the Connors, and then she just has to live out the rest of her life as a loon while Joe Rogan and Tony uh, use her as sort of, sort of, you know, fantasy token for how fun their lives are. I mean, it's just not the right way to let this woman go out. You know, just a few minor corrections, put her on the right path, and maybe she doesn't have to embarrass herself out of the end of her life remember embarrass myself out i go is it okay if i embarrass myself out and then i do something stupid at the restaurant on the way out <laughs> i'm going to embarrass myself out <laughs> scream the n-word while running backwards she's going to embarrass herself out of life if these people oh, man. don't get her the help she needs 43 minutes Wait till you hear what and she says. Joe's no, this is a fun thing. This is fun. We don't need her to help. No she one needs listens to her. This could have like been. This is a classic comedian. Up. I mean, Roseanne was such a great show. This is somebody who should go out with class. They should be treated like Ed DeBevick. They should be treated like when, uh, who's this asshole's name? Who He would put on shows for the troops all the time. Everybody loved him. Till the day he died, they saluted this comedian man. He's some old fuck. That's how she should go out. Like one of the greats. Not on the couch screaming about Jan 6. It's the son's fault. I just know It's the it. son's fault. Watch this, son. Watch this. What's his face? Will Smith said. Uh, Cheers to Roseanne. Keep to my her. name out your motherfucking mouth. <laughs> and don't eulogize me for fuck's sake. Well, the part that people liked was that he, he, he it is the second time he said he doesn't think you're racist. John Goodman. No big deal. No, that's what I want to talk about because everyone's like, oh, John Goodman's such a it hero. It took him three months to say that after he signed the contract to split my money with the other actors. Why didn't he say anything in the beginning? Absolutely. <laughs> Why didn't he say something when, after, you know. Sarah and Michael Fishman attacked me. Deej, the fact that I'm watching a tape of fucking Roseanne going same way when Sarah and Michael Fishman attacked me. Michael Fishman attacked you? And I'm living in this same universe? This rocks. I mean, I've been making fun of Michael Fishman my whole life as if it's some childish joke of mine. And then this, that's what I mean, anything in the world could happen now. When I was growing up watching Deej, making fun of him with my brother because he looked so fucking faggoty, and then pretending that I was him at bars to mock him, essentially, and break the ice. Many people at the bars. I had no idea that I'd be gifted this dream scenario where Roseanne hates Michael Fishman. That stuff just didn't happen. You hoped.
but it never happened, and now I got this. Say something when, after, you know, Sarah and Michael Fishman attacked me. Why didn't he say something that day? Why didn't he say something before they canceled me? They had 20 minutes to say something, mm -hmm. come out and say, oh, my God, we love her. You know, she's made a mistake or some blah, blah, but and say shit for three months. Ah, fuck it. Fuck it. I don't give a shit. That's it. I just Let's don't. I don't. I've, I've let it go. It has nothing to do with me. God took me out of there. I You're going to sit and watch this, Joe? How, how'd you like episode three, Joe? Where she was just. Really, Joe Rogan, you need to watch the podcast you told her to do. Go watch it. Go watch it. Put it on at the Comedy Mothership and have everyone sit in seats. And then see if you don't go, uh-oh. You know, this is a woman who needs some help. Yet you're exploiting her in this manner. Making her ramble. She's going to say something terrible. She's going to get thrown off YouTube. She's going to start mistrusting the government and all this stuff. She's going to end up bad. She's going to end up locked up. Because of the sun? Because of you, Rogan. And I, I don't want to prevent that from happening either. I'd like to see that happen. Otherwise, what's my prediction? A guess. All right, let's see this. There's some more coming up about Whitney Cummings here. And Ashley Cummings, Whitney's sister, who usually listens to the show. Again, trigger warning. We don't want to hurt your feelings. They're going to say some really nasty stuff about your sister. I, um... There's nothing any of them could ever do to make up for what they put me through. There's nothing they could do to apologize uh, to my mother and uh, my family and to people who love me. Nothing. Sorry. This isn't a video of her after she was arrested <laughs> in the where police were questioning her. This is... Episode three of the new Hot Roseanne Bar Show. Does this look fun? 44 minutes into ep three. And look at her face. It sounds like something they're going to run in a documentary about her life after she kills herself. And the they play a clip like this with like a, a police interrogation room. Yeah. The buzz of the back rooms blaring. This isn't fun and comedy family and to people who love me nothing sorry moving on fuck you Oof. um and i'm sure he feels bad but and, and maybe he does maybe he doesn't maybe he's tired of people asking him so he felt like his publicist probably said oh say something no i'm i have no listen doubt that, listen to that he feels bad i think everyone feels bad except for sarah and fishman Honestly, and Wanda Sykes, and that, what, what's that whore, the Whitney Cummings? That... <laughs> what's that whore, Whitney Cummings? Imagine, what kind of son says something like that? That's not sunny to say. What's that whore's name who produced the show, Whitney this is like a movie where you're stuck in a cabin with this guy and you think they're you're kind of getting along. Maybe yeah. He's a nerd and it's a little awkward, but you're going to survive this cabin. Cummings. And then all of a sudden he's like, what about that whore? That and then you whore? suddenly re there's a sting in the music and you realize he's. Yeah, he's the killer. He's the killer. Now, why is Whitney a whore? I know. What the fuck? Whitney sucks at sex. Idiot? Whitney's the opposite of whore. She's a bore. She's a kook. She doesn't do sex. She doesn't like sex. She doesn't do it. She's uncomfortable, naked. She Believe is. me, her sex life <laughs> sucks. But this guy, and that's what I mean, this is like, Ooh. and he believes every QAnon conspiracy as far as I can tell from what I listened to this morning. Listen to this again. And Wanda Sykes and that, what's that, whore? The Whitney Cummings. That is, she she doesn't. She doesn't even know anyone exists outside of herself. She has no consciousness of anybody else. Oh, she doesn't she's... even know anyone exists outside of herself. She's Usually, every animal in the Los Angeles area. I know. 
And wouldn't you would think if your son was ta- if a son's talking to a mom and he goes, "What's that whore's name?" Whitney, come. Shouldn't the mom go? No, she's not a whore. <laughs> Listen, it's unfortunate. No, she just goes along with it. Oh yeah, Whitney Cummins, yeah, sucking every dick in town. She doesn't know that anyone exists. <laughs> Listen to this stuff. This is what Joe is basically producing. Joe Rogan's the executive producer of this, as far as I'm concerned. Cummings. She she doesn't she doesn't even know anyone exists outside of herself. She has no consciousness of anybody else. Yeah, th- those people we obviously don't give. You a know, shit they're about. just all narcissists, and mm-hmm. they don't care about anyone but themselves. I mean, maybe they do their families. I don't know, or a select group of friends. But I ain't on it. It doesn't matter. I guess we uh, uh, to, to put it more succinctly. Just because John Goodman, and I'll answer this question on behalf of my mother. Just because he Wow, he on said, behalf I, of your mother, huh? This is like a Michaela Peterson, Dr. Peterson situation. This is a Weekend at Bernie's type thing. Why are you answering on behalf of mother? I don't want Roseanne having a son like this. This oh doesn't fit God. into my whole Roseanne thing. I grew up with Roseanne. You didn't. I'm more of a son to her than you will ever be. I kind of imagined Roseanne's kids as like normal kids that were like, oh, mom. Yeah. So crazy. I mean, the other daughters must say, this is a violent, violent sexual offense. I I just hope. We wish. I hope. I don't know anything about this guy. But it seems like he's killed. I hope he's a violent, violent sexual offender. He I mean, look, look at this right guy. right at home on the set of Tim Cast. I can't believe this is Roseanne's son. She deserves such a better son. You're worse than Fishman. And that's... I mean, maybe it's time to say sorry to Fishman. Maybe he's one of the better sons. Now, Fishman this. fucking sucks. Fuck Fishman. I'll throw a dart at Fishman's neck. <laughs> Metaphysically. All right, let's see a little bit more just of this. Because John Jake, Goodman, his I'll name. answer this question on behalf of my mother. Just because he he said, I don't think she's a racist five three years months later. and five years later a second time, that doesn't make him a good person. To, to sit silently why someone you say you care about or that he misses is being dragged through the mud and you know and it's her wrong. her character killed a yeah. half of, like, America's parents for 30 years. Yeah. The dad. What a shit dad, man. Yeah, he just sat what? there. They all sat there, and at least he didn't. At least he didn't pile on. So that's that's how shitty they are on that show. Those fucking cast members. Oof, the is swears. They look and go, good man. Oh well, he didn't pile on and make up shit about you and try and fucking steal your life's work. Yeah. So he's a good, good person. No, fuck. He's he's a. This p- is all a giant misunderstanding too. A lot of this stuff. I sit back and watch people have giant misunderstandings out there nowadays. Yeah. Really, so many misunderstandings. What was a big giant misunderstanding I just heard about the other day? Oh, it could be uh, solved. Sam Hyde going after Dave Portney. Sam Hyde going after Dave Portney. Giant misunderstanding. And I could see where each side's coming from. You know, Sam Hyde is going after Dave Portney here. So, I and I want to make it clear, this is not a Jewish siding <laughs> of Dave Portney. You know, I just realized I'm going to be siding with Steiny from the Nelk Boys. Another Jewish. Jew. <laughs> They're going to think that it's true. I mean... You can side with your own kind. Is that a crime? They're not my own kind. <laughs> I hate the Jew. You also sided with Pearl, and she hates Jews. I sided with Pearl, too, and she hates every Jew. There you go. I had sex with Pearl. Got away with I it. had sex with Pearl H. Davis. It was legendary. Just like having sex with Taylor Swift. Davis on David. Yep. And we're both changing our name to Pearl. <laughs> uh, yes, tell everybody me and Pearl hooked up. It was amazing. I sucked. Uh, I sucked it. We all sucked each other. Me and Pearl. Uh, so this guy, he I don't think he could be trusted. I think this is a big miss for Roseanne. This doesn't seem like she's having any fun here. It seems like he's... Uh, you know, he's putting her in these bad places. And this is getting dark and dark and dark. Uh, we watched uh, this episode from the beginning. It was It's brutal all the way through. The stuff that they're all over the place, too. <laughs> like, they're all just hearing the information they have on these subjects that they think they know so well is, like, so telephoned. You know, they're getting it all wrong. That's why I say it's a big misunderstanding. And Roseanne's got so much anger 
for society because she's mishearing these stories from people like Rogan who just blurt out nonsense about a girl using a litter box at a school. You know, these are big ones for these people. And she believes everything she reads and then the son tells her it's true. It's a shit like the rest of them. It's just not as horrible. That's how fucking low the bar is for those people. Yeah. And Fishman, mm. fucking Michael Fishman, I have to go up on that. Much. That guy was my friend. Really? Right? A lot of people don't know that. We were, we were friends. You were fucking friends with Fishman? <laughs> That's... Imagine these two mega nerds. <laughs> what did you and Fishman do together? I must know. Got any footage? You were friends with Michael Fishman. Uh, and Michael Fishman wasn't supposed to exist. He was a kid on a sitcom. A, a audio-less kid. A mute. Just filler kid. And then he lucked out, and now he's playing the older deed. She was never meant to be an actor. We see him now. He's so heinously ugly. He only worked as a filler little NPC little kid character for two seasons. That's all he was supposed to ever be. Wasn't supposed to be a working actor. Roseanne is out at ABC. Fishman in. No wonder she's losing her mind. And you used to be friends with that guy? Friendly during the taping. We, we hired him to work at your studio. He's a decent carpenter. And what? I was friends with him. You mean because he had no job? <gasps> yeah, we were, you were basically <laughs> keeping the guy fucking... Do you hear that? We hired him at your studio. He was a decent carpenter. Yeah, because he had no job. <laughs> Got him. Burn. <laughs> 78 years old. <sighs> I mean, I wouldn't even burn somebody like that. Yeah, because he probably didn't even have a job. <laughs> I was friends with him. You mean because he had no job? Yeah, That's we dirty. Were, you were basically keeping the guy fucking alive. Oh, God, let's not. I've just got to do it for five seconds. And that motherfucker, as soon as it went down, he was like, oh, this is my chance. I know what he thought because I know him. He's a fucking child actor. <gasps> totally fucking. That's the problem is the what they do to children after. I know, but you know I, what? I he, really tried he to... He really so tried to this. sell himself as something different, as, as a, a working-class guy that wasn't like the rest of Hollywood. And as soon as he saw an opportunity to fucking get some clout, he jumped wow. on your fucking back. And, and it's disgusting. If I ever see him, I will knock him the fuck out. Wow! I had no idea we didn't watch this I far. Didn't. We didn't watch this far. <laughs> oh, you're going to knock out Fishman if you ever... Tell Fishman. Tell him now. Tell, tell, him, him, tell now. him now. Everybody, report to Michael Fishman. Roseanne's son is saying he's going to knock you out. Let's get this in the news. Fights. This <laughs> rules. You guys know Michael Fishman, right? Maybe we should pull up a picture if people don't know him. Two sons fighting each other? Yes, yeah, Roseanne's real son versus her TV son. <laughs> the dream fight of my life. So, well... What are you betting on? Who are you taking? Oh, Fishman will demolish him. Fishman will fucking... Dude, Fishman's strong. Have you seen his neck? Fishman can't feel any... He... No, he no. doesn't seem like he can. He'll go nuts. He's got so much pent-up rage. And uh, this guy looks like the baseball Do we have a picture of Fishman here? Call Saul. Get me some Fishman so I could show people what we're dealing with here. It makes it way better if you could en envision him. Fuck, there's so many good pics of him. Gang violence. Fishman said, knock you out. Here he is, Michael Fishman, coming up. Yeah, he looks crazy now. Damn. Look at him. I mean, he really is. I really like the one of him in a maroon hoodie. He looks really good Look at good that there. guy. He'll, he'll fucking kill him. Maroon hoodie, this one? Yeah. Look at this guy. He's everything... Like, have you ever had a picture of yourself taken and you have, like, one micro quality of what he's got going on and you're, like, mortified and you delete the picture because you, you look like such a faggot? in this picture. Maybe that's why it called out I to think me. when I look at Fishman, <laughs> I see this would be my nightmare as far as how faggoty one could look. Look, look right at the... Wait, keep it there. No, yeah. no, no, no. Go back and then look at the camera. I'm not no fucking what? way. No fucking way. Yo, if way. I see you, I'm gonna crack your jaw. <laughs> Come on. And we'll see you back here tomorrow, Jewels. No. I will not side by side with Fishman. Sorry, that's where I draw the line. No. Someone catch him doing it. No, do not catch me. Here he was. This is what he was supposed to be. Just a filler background kid on Roseanne. And then he turned into this. They couldn't believe it. They couldn't believe that they had to do it to keep the show out there. And they didn't. They could have. They've replaced the sister seven times. 
You could have got a new fisherman. You didn't have to give this guy a job. Look at his hair. Look at his fucking hair. See, I would tell people, yep, I'm him. He fucking wishes. So he, he didn't fucking wishes. Act, he didn't work at all between the original no, Roseanne. No, this is and... all he did. I mean, maybe he did some bullshit. So that is actually kind of fucked Look up at this him. asshole. Have you ever seen a bigger asshole than this? A men's well, spike. Look, he's just going through a breakup. That's nice. That's what he deserves. Yeah, oh, good. <laughs> he's a bad guy. He's a bad guy. You know who he reminds me of? Steve will do it. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> kind of looks like him. Same look in the eye. <laughs> Same nose. This is Steve will do it if Steve will do it was a pussy. Uh, yeah, very cool. So now you know Michael Fitter. Let's go back to the, I didn't know, we didn't plan on this. I'm hearing this for the first time. Fucking back. And it's disgusting. If I ever see him, I will knock him the fuck out and I will never No, forget. you won't because yeah, then he'll become rich by suing me. Oh! <sighs> Right, this is not. childish. Anyway. No, you won't. All right, well, then whatever. I moved on to. I just think it's disgusting. So fuck John. Tell Fishman. That fat, bloated. Oh, cat. my God. Don't say that. You have to wish people. Wait, that fat, blooded? Bad, blooded? Bloated? Fat, bloated. Fat, bloated? This guy rules, actually. This is, yeah, I guess. you. Why would I be against you? You're doing my show. Change my mind. This red bar <laughs> copycat. Let's help this guy beat me. Yeah. Fishman. Can we get him a stylist, too, so he could look more like me? I can't take this look. This is like if Josh Denny was skinny. Ugh, I know. He'd be this. This is a bad person, by the way. You can't actually like him. This is a very Part bad... Part of the fight can be that he wears, like, a costume. He would like need to be in a mascot costume <laughs> yeah. for me to think he was nice. Anyway. No, you won't. All right, well, then whatever. I moved on, to. I just think it's disgusting. So fuck John Goodman, a fat, bloated... Oh okay. my God! Don't say that. You have to wish people well. They made finally their being a mom. You're better than me. So. No, you have to wish people well. I mean, See? they hurt me. Whatever. I just don't want them coming to my funeral, nor trying to do any memorial horseshit to get wow. me on, in People magazine. Yeah. Wow. Fuck that. I don't want that. Just leave Tell me Fishman. alone. I'll leave you alone. Good luck. Have a nice life. See ya. All right. I like that. I was going to ask you about. I mean, this was a big quote. Remember when this first happened? Roseanne was quoted saying, what did she say? You had this as, like, quoted on yeah, your Twitter for uh, a while. Please leave me alone, thanks. Please leave me alone, thanks. She said that to Fishman. We thought that was good. That was I mean, <laughs> it's been overshadowed. Well, there it is. That's Jake and Roseanne.